Hey y'all. I just wanted to put something out talking about the upcoming changes to Mistweaver Monks, which are currently scheduled for the next weekly reset. Right away, they've got my attention with a 6% buff to our overall healing. I'm not even sure we needed this, but it's great news. The buffs to Awakened Jadefire and Jadefire Teachings seem targeted at Fistweavers mostly, from what little I know, but casters playing Jade Empowerment with Jadefire Teachings are sure to notice a difference. Now, I wasn't impressed at all by Rushing Wind Kick before, but if they're really increasing its damage by a full 150% and doubling the buff from Rushing Winds, I might have to take it for my dungeon build. This is my current dungeon setup, taking Jade Empowerment with Jadefire Teachings. I was actually thinking about dropping Jadefire Teachings for Mending Proliferation, since I've been really feeling its absence since I got rid of it. But if Rushing Wind Kick does decent damage after these changes, I could really see myself using it during any downtime, just to contribute a little DPS, since for those who don't know, it's a cone frontal with a 25 yard reach and no targeting requirements, meaning I wouldn't have to dance as awkwardly between melee range and caster range like I do now. If I take this talent, it also means I wouldn't necessarily need to put 2 points in Martial Instinct, which increases physical damage by up to 4%, since most of my damage contribution in dungeons is probably going to be from Rushing Wind Kick and Empowered Lightning, both of which are pure nature damage. The change to Jade Bond doesn't really mean anything to me since I avoid mastery completely anyways, but the buff to Yulon's Whisper makes me actually consider adding it to my raid build. This is my current raid setup, and since Unison only accounts for 1 to maybe 1.5% of my healing on most fights, I don't think it would take much to want to replace it. It really depends, though, whether or not there are Yulon's Whisper-sized healing events that I'm not already taking advantage of with my other cooldowns, because if there aren't, I don't think it's necessarily worth the effort to make it work. I could be completely underestimating how much a 400% buff is going to change it, but we'll see how it goes. And that's it! I'm a little surprised we're getting such drastic changes just one week into the patch, but if it's for the better, I'll take it. I am working on a longer guide slash update video where I'll go over casting Mistweaver as a whole, so figuring out how these changes affect the spec might delay me a bit, but that's still coming. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.